Hello everybody, this is Chad from CBW Farms. How are we all doing today? We are prepping for fall around here on the farm. And as you can see, we got one of the wheels off for the front wheel assist on the one side, just kind of giving it a little bit of a coat of paint. It don't have to be perfect, but this way we'll see if anything leaks later on. Uh, there's the fender off the front of the tractor and a bunch of parts. We got parts all purchased and redo the fluids in the, in the front end. And if you're wondering what a front wheel assist tractor looks like when it's tore apart, this is kind of it. And there is the hub of the tractor that's usually sticking away on the outside of the tractor, the big yellow hub that you'll see on John Deere. Um, there's where the wheel actually bolts to that piece. And there's the innards there, the basically the guts and pieces of the front wheel assist on the one side. Um, here's everything that does your steering on your tractor. Uh, there's a couple balls that go under that's what holds the wheel on and there's one piece that our mechanic has at his shop We've been cleaning up pieces and getting things ready to go Like I said, it, there was this wheel seal that was out But we had to replace a few other things and waited on parts and and that so you can see we got parts kind of laying around everywhere But but we are ready to go back together. Those are what big bearings look like that are inside of the inside of the front wheel assist and kind of see how big they are compared to my hand that's probably the most expensive part they're good yet or they're fine but they got just a little bit of play to them not saying that they're bad but um, looking at the races these are what the bearings actually sit in right here they were just a little rough on on an edge here that's supposed to be smooth so we thought we'd replace them while we had it apart and changing everything and cleaning everything all up really good and so it'll be ready to go for a few years, you know, quite a few years. Hopefully we don't have any problems with it. But, but as I can say, it's under 4555 John Deere. And we'll use this one mostly for chopping stocks. And we got some manure hauling to do with it too. But, but nothing too big and heavy. It's just some, some traveling more than anything. But, but yeah, this ball right here is actually, there's two of these. One on the top, one on the bottom. These are what holds the whole front end together. And they sit in this little pocket here, like so. And you can see you can grease them up. And this goes over top of it. And these go inside a, on each, either the bottom or the top of that piece that's sitting right in front of us. I know it's a little hard to see, but, but that's kind of what holds everything together. Um, there's a long shaft right here that should be sitting on the ply or the paneling. But that shaft is a drive shaft that comes from the center of the tractor out towards the wheel. And then there's one more shaft that'll connect in there. There's a, a, a universal joint and, and uh, yeah, there's another shaft that actually drives all these little sprockets right here, which got a lot of little roller bearings in them, but these are all good. They feel really good. They spin free. There's no tightness to them. Like I said, everything will sit inside of this hub here. And yeah, like I said, this is just one side of the tractor. That's all we got to do. And like I said, and plus we're changing some fluids too. That's why I got the pail sitting underneath there. We wanted to inspect to make sure that that oil was, was good as well, that there's no oil filings or anything like that. But yeah, so that's kind of the project we've been working on last night. So sorry if I missed all you guys. And, and today I've been kind of running after parts and getting everything for it. Like I said, I got everything. Should all be sitting here and ready to go. What we need to put in for those bearings and seals and O-rings and a bunch of parts. Like I said, it didn't break down. But like I said, there was just a little bit of a little bit of a leak on, on the inside of the rim here. Because like I said, here's the front tire, and like I said, there was just a little bit of oil, kind of right, right in this area or whatever, all the way around the wheel. So I wanted to get that kind of painted up. Like I said, it ain't gonna be perfect. I'm gonna do as good as I can, obviously. But um, yeah, I mean nobody sees them because every you know that big hub sits inside of here and it's inside of the tractor, but. Thought get her painted up again and looking good and that way we'll see if anything else is going wrong. But with that being said, everybody, the tractors and parts here, I'll bring the tractor and loader back in here because that all that pieces that go together are really heavy. So we'll use the loader and kind of lift that all into place and, and that might do it tonight or tomorrow morning. So other than that, if you guys got any questions, feel free to feel free to put them down and hit that like button if you haven't already. And we will catch you on the next one. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Bye now.